Hey guys, today I'm going to have Courtney help me. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm finally getting around to showing y'all how to set up a, well, how to hatch triops. Uh, I've already done all the preparation work, I probably should have filmed it, but no big deal. Basically what I did was I cleaned the sand, you can always check out my how to clean sand video. And right now I'm just letting the water run. I've got all the, sa all, all the sand. I got a few shells, this rock, and the aquarium heater. Now, what I have in here that won't stay is that large thing in the back. This is an extremely powerful uh, filter. Essentially what it's doing is aerating and circulating the water. I need the water to be extremely high in oxygen because it needs to simulate natural rainwater. So, in order to do that, I have this thing making bubbles and swirling the water around and mixing up the sand and, uh, uh, yeah, this has been going on uh, about an hour or so, maybe a little longer. But like I said, it has to be really high in oxygen. Um, anyway, so, what you need to do is... Uh, you have to get the water full of oxygen. Uh, there are several ways to do that. My preferred method is, of course, this power head back here. But uh, you can also just pour the water into it, and that'll work pretty good. Because if you pour it high enough, it collects enough oxygen as it's going through the uh, air. But you can uh, another thing you can do is stir the water very, very vigorously. Um, I do not hatch the eggs in the tank. I ha I uh, begin the hatching process in a small bottle, which I'll show you uh, in a few moments. Okay, now this is the bottle of water, or the bottle I use. It's a long, tall bottle. Yes, it is smart water. Deal with it. But... These are fairy shrimp eggs. I am going to take these eggs and pour some of them, not all of them mind you, into the bottle. 